You know, someone was talking with me from one of the African nations, and he said that uh, they are even copying our dressing. This is our dressing. So that means it's a serious response. Can we ask? They are watching us. The, the way we dress, they now challenge their tailors to produce this kind of. That's what happens when the mountain of the Lord's house is exalted. No, don't clap, don't clap, don't clap. We need to ask God for mercy so that we will not give the wrong example. It's, it, don't rejoice, don't rejoice. Say, they go to their tailors and say, are you saying this thing? Produce it. The people we are following, this is what they are wearing. And we, are, no, we don't know if this is where the anointing is coming from. <laughs> can, you, can, you, can we plead with God to have mercy? Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Maybe one day, I will share a testimony. I've been accumulating it. It's in a bag. I will unveil it very soon. We're traveling to Botswana. And since we always use Ethiopian Airways, if it is Africa, they will take you to Addis Ababa. You spend the night in Skylight Hotel. And then the next day, you continue your journey. So we were continuing, and they put us in that bus to take us to our, our plane, and then somebody shouts, Apostle, a Kenyan man. He's also going for the same event. And we now meet in the bus. Takes all kinds of pictures. You know, these are the days of, even when you are sober, people will force you to take pictures. And then he has these uh, very thick spectacles. So we go for the meeting. And then the healing began to flow. And one of the people healed is a man that met me on the bus. The thick glasses were no longer needed. He goes home like the utopian eunuch. I've seen that again and again. And I, I look at myself. No. It's not me. I have no hand in that. The great monarch just decided that, okay, I will just, I will, I, I choose you for my own reasons. To be part of my glory. When you begin to see that again and again, then you need to make it a point of duty to always acknowledge him everywhere you go. The thick spectacles were no longer needed. No longer needed. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Amen. You go to some nations, they, when you see the level of poverty, your heart will not even allow you to receive profit offering. Because of, we are far better off than many. That thing you call your struggle is a breakthrough for somebody. Yes, it's a breakthrough. You need to see the setting. It's dry. But they are happy at the gospel. And I see it a great privilege. So sometimes you need to turn down prophet offering. So that the people can meet up with the, the, the cancel the debt that came as a result of the meeting. Hallelujah. Because I consider it a great privilege to even be in that labor in the first place. I have seen God go out of his way to prove a point that I'm with you. I've seen him. Things he will not do normally. I was just doing a, a lecture talking about the authority of God. Then I, he, he now said, okay, okay. There's a practical in this, your lecture. I said, yes, sir. He said, okay. Um, there are people that are deaf here. But some of them are using hearing aid. Tell them to stand up. So I told them to stand up. In fact, I never knew that there are more than hearing aids that when they put it in the ear, you not even see it. People began to remove. <laughs> oh my God. And he healed them all. No one was left. He healed them all. All. I saw different models of hearing aids. Computer chips in the ears of men to aid to uh, microphone speakers so that when you speak it vibe it traps the sound until he can send information to the brain in their numbers they were no longer re re required and when such power is found in your hand people will want to worship you 
But if they see the way you are preaching and how you are born witness that you are helpless, they will not know that this man represents another. Yes, I am diligent to ensure that I don't pose to be the champion. We, we arrived at Topia, and when we arrived at Topia, before you um, are allowed to go to your hotel, there is an elaborate security screening that is done. And um, the Topian Airways happens to be the number one um, flight corporation in Africa. All right? If you see the tarmac in Ethiopia, the number of planes lined up, the only time you will see that in the whole of Europe is when you see British Airways planes lined up. But the number of planes you will see in Ethiopia is more than what you will see in British Airways. So it's a convergence point. So a lot of people will be doing that screening with you from different nations. Now, we were, we were trying to screen. Then I saw some women with hijab, obviously Muslim. And one of them called me a boss. I said, I didn't answer. I said, it's a trap. They are trying to. <coughs> so I escaped from that place. Because I know a lot of people hate me too. So we have our own way of protecting ourselves. <laughs> so she, she, when I escaped, she escaped too. I said, Apostle. Ah. So I now waited to hear what. I said, do you know that I was advised to follow your messages? I, you need to see this lady. They were in a team. She left that team to come and talk with me. As I was advised to follow your message. When she talked about our messages, then I said, those words are true. She said she knows that um, let me just give her my number so that she can forward her questions. I froze in that place. You know what that means? Even beyond, Christ, that's beyond Christianity, the boundary of Christianity, people. It's not an easy place to build. Don't, it's not, you don't even pray for it. Don't pray for it. Visibility is only one person that should be visible. Only one name that should be known. All right? Jesus. Don't think any form of visibility is... Always go to him and labor for mercy. It's only in his mercy that that visibility will give him glory and you yourself will be covered. A great thing is happening. A Muslim lady fully, fully kitted. The, the ones that only unveil I froze them. And I began to pray instantly, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, oh God. I'm trying to show you the scope of responsibility that God has conferred and how that we need a tank of grace to power our assignment from this time henceforth. Are you, can you feel what I'm talking about here? Can you feel it? Are you talking about, you know those buses that we used to pick you up from your aircraft to go to the terminal? You know how limited the number of people in the buses are? Then one will shout, Hey, Apostle! Hallelujah. Meanwhile, on the same bus, you will see clerics, Islamic clerics counting very serious and people are kneeling down in that bus for prayer they didn't go to the clerics so they are wondering who is this boy he's not about the boy he serves the greatest king of all time <laughs> oh my god can we ask him you are not you are not following me you're not following me. The way we need to pray about these prayers, it should be more desperate. Can we ask him for mercy? Show us mercy. Show us. Show us mercy. You, you, you can't feel the burden I'm trying to communicate.
We need mercy right now to play the role that God has raised us to play in the body of Christ. To play that role in this season. To fulfill that assignment in this season. Can we ask him for mercy? Show us mercy. 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 I saw Kobe Labina seek Italia. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow into it. The impact that God is making, the name that the Lord is making is among all nations. We got letters from Saudi Arabia. We got letters from Mauritius. We got letters from impossible places. People that are following, people that have received the impact of his witness, of his testimony that is coming from our midst. I think it is time for us to ask him, show us mercy. Show us mercy so that we'll be worthy representatives of your name and that we will be effective in bearing witness to your resurrection. Show us mercy as a ministry, as a people, in the name of Jesus, we call upon you today. We call upon you today because we realize that it is not by power. It is not by might. It is by your spirit. And we seek the help that comes from the Holy Ghost. We seek the help that comes from your spirit. That Lord, we will continually be an object of strength to the body of Christ an object of illumination to expose every darkness so that your people can walk free, can walk in the light that you have secured even by our redemption. We call upon you, O oh God, that the strength that is required to be faithful to the assignment, to the responsibility, that you will make it available, that we will not slack, will not become an object of ridicule to your name, but Lord, your grace will galvanize us, will quicken us, will strengthen us. We call upon you. Oh, sale kobe madi, sale boboroko santale, rasketo benante, isko pantoria, shamakate buranaske, asisa zaite, abrante kombalatoa, isko pela banshala. I kabarasuka bendo lombo unklebres kufelame. Oh yes, Lord, Africa shall be free. That the flames of revival will capture all the nations of Africa, all the nations of Europe. The burning flames of grace. We call upon you. We ask that you look upon us with compassion and strengthen us with might by your spirit that is in our inner man in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oh we give you glory we give you praise we give you praise we give you praise it's a great responsibility when people look to you for leadership when people learn from what you do, it's a point to restrain yourself and to be fully conformed to the image of the Christ so that your uprising and down sitting will be an illustration of the grace of God. The psalmist said, I will look onto the hills. I will look yonder. I will look above. From whence cometh my help. Can we look above? Can we look yonder? Can we look beyond ourselves this for a moment? And say, oh, strength of Israel. Oh, power of Jacob. Oh, lion of the tribe of Judah. Fortify us to do your will. For it is written that we are able ministers. Our ability, our qualification is not a function of our wisdom. We are galvanized by the Holy Spirit and the covenant by which you have supplied your spirit to us to equip us once and again. Let that covenant never fail. 
Rakabosa minai takubenali. Sheminai kompres kofi tabela kundale. Iso sombe rakaparanto skito brante kuria. Mahalabo siko pres kapante mina. Ante kobe rakusa kabi. Let that covenant never fail. Let that blessing let it never fail. Let that, let that, let that compassion never fail. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching. Do well to subscribe, like, share the video to your loved ones so they can receive what God is doing from this platform. You can also follow us on all our social media platforms. We are on Instagram, we are on Facebook, and we are on Twitter. Thank you.